Yeah, we'll fucking take that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as you can probably tell, I have stage fright, pretty bad. But what you're supposed to do when you have stage fright is imagine the audience naked. So. Way ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> I know how, look, I know I'm not a hot piece either. Uh, if I take off my shirt, it looks like a badly melted candle. <laughs> and my areolas are like weirdly large. I call them my Polish roses. <laughs> and I don't grow any chest hair except for a strip right there and a strip right there. So, if I take off my shirt, I've got built-in, like, Groucho Marx glasses. <laughs> so, yeah, everyone wants to see that. Uh, so, yeah, and uh, sorry if I look at my phone. These are my notes. Uh, I don't know how good they are, because one of them just says, let's start a fight, which seems more like an escape clause than anything else. Just let me know if you need it. <laughs> and uh, something I found out today, apparently, we have amazing tap water. Uh, yeah. We've already got this guy addicted to it. <laughs> we should just change uh, Greenville's slogan to, it's on tap. <laughs> <laughs> That one was not fun. <laughs> that one was not Anyways. Or not Flint. All right. Oh. oh That's dark. Hey. I'm over here. <laughs> Anyways, so, segue is a very difficult word to spell. <laughs> Does anybody have a favorite villain? Uh, let me specify Fictional. I don't need somebody making it weird. We're going. Whoa, oh, Stalin's awesome. Uh, <laughs> don't do that. But uh, any, from anything. Uh, Maleficent. Yeah. Maleficent. Oh, yeah. uh, very good one. Quite tall. Turns into a dragon. Love that in a moment. <laughs> uh, anybody else? Can Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Very cool. Asthma's never been scarier. <laughs> Skeletor. Skeletor. Yo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Old school. Uh, never really watched He Man growing up. I was a She Ra man. Uh, <laughs> but uh, my favorite villain of all time has to be Carmen Sandiego because she is the most powerful villain, villainess, out of anything ever. And if you have, and if you've watched the movies, uh, movies, watched the show, watched uh, or played the games, you already know that's true, even if you don't realize it, because it always starts out the same way. Listen up, gumshoes. Marvin San Diego has just stolen the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> like, do you mean the original blueprints for the Eiffel Tower, or what? The entire Eiffel Tower is now gone. <laughs> okay, uh, and nobody saw that shit happen at all? She just... My mouth! <laughs> 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 I'm going to go on to, uh, yeah. Listen up, gumshoe. <laughs> Garmin San Diego has just pilfered Mount Rushmore. <laughs> like, uh, uh, like the f just the faces? Or the whole range? Is there just a giant gap there now? <laughs> No time for that, gumshoes, <laughs> because Carmen San Diego has just purloined the very concept of human happiness. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, I'm, now I'm too sad to even walk. <laughs> and uh, it gets worse because then they're wearing space is Carmen San Diego. And yeah, I'm still doing this. I will do this. <laughs> I will do this joke if it tanks harder than Germany in 1939. Yikes! Oh! So where? God damn it! Where's Carmen San Diego? Was like, listen up. Space gumshoes. <laughs> Carmen Sandiego has just absconded with the Milky Way galaxy. 
That's where we fucking live! <laughs> we belong to her now! <laughs> Go out and catch her, gum juice! No, I'm burning a sacrifice to try to appease her! <laughs> <laughs> Carmen San Diego. <laughs> and here's where shit gets really real. <clears throat> because it's, hey, time gumshoes. I don't know. <laughs> you were always a gumshoe. It didn't matter. Uh, Carmen San Diego has just stolen the Tet Offensive. <laughs> Fucking how? Like, <laughs> like she cut a moment out of time and removed it, and you want me to go find her. First off, she just ruined Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> Secondly, if she stole it, I don't know what that is or why it's important. <laughs> so yeah, Carmen San Diego is perhaps my favorite villain ever. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, that bit. <laughs> tragic and devastating game of stop hitting yourself in American history. <laughs> little Civil War humor for you. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. Shit, what else do I have? Um, now there's just kind of a bunch of weird one-liners that I have. Do it. Do so, it. All right. The next time you're having sexy times with your wife, your girlfriend, whoever, instead of saying something like, no, oh, you're so wet. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen! Instead, just shout, it's a deluge! <laughs> Pop some road flares, start throwing down sandbags, and treat her woman like the force of nature she is. <laughs> Choosy programmers choose GIF. Like uh, peanut butter. Uh, uh, and, I have, I have, and I have heard the arguments, oh, it's a soft G, language doesn't work like that. Excuse me, do you speak English? <laughs> it, the English language is the Thunderdome of language. <laughs> oh yeah, there are rules. Not really. Spell through for me. <laughs> Tell me I'm pronouncing it fucking wrong. <laughs> sentence to say. Uh, none of you know them. They go to a different comedy show <laughs> in Canada. Uh, but within that group of friends, there are four people, including myself, named Kevin, which I agree that is way too fucking bad. <laughs> so there's Kevin, me, uh, Kevin too, also Kevin, and are you fucking kidding me? Another Kevin. <laughs> we actually formed a barbershop quartet at one point. We were named uh, Left Behind on Christmas. <laughs> but we, we ended up breaking up because we could never decide who got top billing. <laughs> Yeah, appropriate. Not that funny. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, what else do I have? Um, <laughs> all right, th there's a 
disturbing trend that I've noticed, and it's, uh, we're apparently rebooting the shittiest parts of history, because now there's Nazis again, there's anti-vaxxers, there's, uh, flat earthers, which is fucking bizarre. <laughs> it's like, can we stop rebooting this? Like, who the hell is going, oh, I'm glad they're rebooting the original flat earth theory. <laughs> I hated the original sequel, Copernicus. <laughs> Well, Nazis are a real thing. The other two are more like conspiracy theories, which, which I all think are stupid because they break down when you ask, what the fuck is the point? But there's one conspiracy theory that I will get on board with, and that is if that we faked the moon landing. But I'll only get on board with that one when it's the version that it was Stanley Kubrick who directed the moon landing because he was such a perfectionist the only way he would have done it is if we landed on the fucking moon. <laughs> that laugh got to you. It would carry you around everywhere. Fuck you both. Alright, was anybody here the last time I did this at Grandma's house? This is I was here. Yo, yo. You didn't invite me. So, oh. so. Some people have seen, well, not seen so that means some people heard about my older sister. <laughs> and this is not even in my notes. This is just. In your brain. Yeah. <laughs> you put your phone up now. Uh, so, Trying to get real good. The original story was that my older sister tied us together with a jump rope and then leapt off of our back deck, which is about, was about six feet high. And when you were that young, not a good idea. So, she was psychotic at that age. <laughs> There's another story in which she apparently tried to end my life. So, if you don't know, I grew up in Moonville, which is out in the middle. At the time, it was the middle of nowhere. Nothing happening. Uh, and I was, I'll say, six years old, maybe five, something that. Uh, and I'm standing out in the yard, staring at nothing. Because it's Moonville in the early 90s, what else are you going to do? <laughs> and then I feel the specter of death come up from behind me and hang. And I turn around to see my sister charging like a fucking bull. And I freeze. What am I going to do? I weigh eight pounds. <laughs> and she steams on in and she catches me with one arm right across there, lifts me up, and then fucking plants me in the ground. No. <laughs> this jabroni got rock bottom way before he <laughs> And I wish I could say that was the end of that story. Because oh. then she decided to leap on top of my chest, like straddling me, snatched a rock from the ground, and dashed my forehead open. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, uh, at that point, I guess she realizes she might get into some kind of trouble for what she's just done. <laughs> because she lets me up and I, of course, go back inside. Uh, and right when we're at the door, she's right behind me, looming ominously. She's like, don't tell mom and dad. <laughs> Alright, I won't. If you don't know anything about forehead wounds, they bleed forever. <laughs> My entire face is soaked in blood. Uh, and I walk in trying to pretend like nothing has been happening. And of course my parents are up immediately like, Oh my god, Kevin, what happened? Are you alright? I'm, I'm fine. Like, I'm just, I, I'm feeling a little dizzy. I'm going to go pass out in the bathtub. I know blood stains carpet, Mom. I don't want to make your load heavier. <laughs> Uh, of course, my parents did find out it was my older sister and punished her appropriately by doing nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, but I, later that day, I did get the reason as to why she had done that to me. And it's because apparently I was embarrassing her in front of her friends now at the time of the incident. We were the only people there. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, uh... We lived in Moonville. The population was 20. I was friends with all of her friends. Like, re so I did get revenge later. Uh, does anybody remember like the little Fisher Price kitchen sets mm -hmm. yeah. with all the fake food? Okay, they had one that could either be a muffin or a cupcake, 
and it was just a piece of foam rubber shaped kind of like a muffin, and for the cupcake, you put the frosting on top. Mm. A little plastic piece of frosting. You seem to know it, about that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, we're sitting in our room, and we're pretending to have a meal, and she takes a bite out of the muffin. The whole time I'm watching her, and right when her teeth sink in, I'll reach out and just snatch it out of her mouth. <laughs> And I pull a tooth with it. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a baby tooth. Oh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I won't say we're even though. Like she got me twice. I've got one more on her. I'm a lot bigger.